Okay, here we are with Lesson 5, Solving Radical Equations. So for example 1, just recently we began solving equations that required us to find the square root or cube root of a number. All of those equations were in the form of x squared equals p or x cubed equals p, where p was a positive rational number. So looking at example 1. Now that we know a little bit more about square roots and cube roots, we can begin solving nonlinear equations like x cubed plus 9x equals 1 half times the quantity of 18x plus 54. Transform the equation using our properties of equality until you can determine the positive value of x that makes the equation true. Try it on your own and then continue the video to check your answer. Alright, you should be done with example 1. And this is something like you, what you should see. x being equal to 3. Now we verify our solution is correct. When we plug in x is 3, we should get that 54 is equal to 54. Since the left side is the same as the right side, our solution is correct. Alright, example 2. Let's look at another nonlinear equation. Find the positive value of x that makes the equation true. x times the quantity of x minus 3 minus 51 is equal to minus 3x plus 13. So first of all we have to use our distributive property to get rid of the factor in parentheses. So that means x times x is x squared, then we have minus 3x minus 51 equals a negative 3x plus 13. So adding 3x to both sides, we get x squared minus 51 equals 13. Then add even 51 to both sides, we end up with x squared is equal to 64. And taking the square root of that, we get po plus or minus or positive or negative 8. So now we verify our solution is correct. Let x equals 8. Therefore, by substituting 8 for x, as we work, work the equation down, we get negative 11 is equal to negative 11. What happens if x is a negative 8? Well, substituting x for negative 8, we simplify both sides of the equation until we get 37 is equal to 37. Now it is clear that the left side is exactly the same as the right side and our solution is correct. Alright, exercises 1 through 7. Complete them, even though the directions say to find the positive value of x, identify all values of x and verify that all solutions are correct, unless the context of the problem dictates that the negative answer would not make sense. When you are done, go ahead and continue the video. Alright, you should be done with exercises 1 through 7. Go ahead and check your answers and then go ahead and continue the video. Alright, let's wrap this up. We know how to solve equations with squared and cubed variables and verify that our solutions are correct. Equations that contain variables that are squared or cubed can be solved using the properties of equality and the definition of square and cubed roots. Simplify an equation until it is in the form of x squared equals p or x cubed equals p, where p was a positive rational number, 
then take the square cube root to determine the positive and negative, if an even root, value of x. All right, we'll see you in class.